Hi my dear creative friends, Oksanti here again. Today I wanted to talk about the question and an answer that I've been getting from many people and is the question how did I get started uh, as a textile designer? I wanted to share my experience of how it worked, worked out for me, how I started and moreover I wanted to talk uh, especially to people who are self-taught artists and designers. As me, I am self-taught, I have now more than 10 years of experience in this field so uh, I know uh, how it is to get started and how it is to grow being a self-taught artist and I went through all kinds of <laughs> troubles, not the troubles, but more of a mental blocks that I had about getting started. So I wanted to share once again my experience here, uh, hoping that somebody will find it useful. I have a master degree in uh, uh, English and Dutch literature based on my uh, education. Right after I finished two master degrees in the same year, I know it was pretty crazy. <laughs> and basically doing it in two different countries at the same time, I really, really wanted to dedicate my time to my creative pursuit. I really was feeling that I wanted to do something creative, to do, create some graphics, images, illustrations. And I mm, somehow transitioned and decided to do illustration work for a little bit while I was looking for interpreter work. That's what I wanted to do in the Netherlands. My friend Nastya, hi Nastya, she is an amazing designer now <laughs> too. She is also from the same background and she talked, introduced me to microstock images, which I really, really thought was a cool idea that you can create vector images or not only vector, but also photography. <laughs> and then you can sell them online, making money and then create more and sell more, create more, sell more. I really, really liked that idea and it was, it really resonated with me, but I always thought, I am not a designer, I am not an illustrator, I'm not an artist, I had no idea how to work with the uh, Adobe Illustrator, not even the Photoshop at that time, so uh, that was basically how I started out, that was my place. So what I learned at that time, what really, really helped me was the story that happened when I created just a few images to get started, and I had to register on iStock Photo, which was at that time, 10 years ago, um, basically was the biggest name, biggest brand in the microstock industry. So what happened was that I started typing out, the filling out the form to register. I had to write, am I a photographer or am I an illustrator? And that moment I was like, I'm not really an illustrator, I'm just Want, and I just want to see how the, where this takes me in. So basically I had this mental block that I said, okay, I'm not an illustrator, I'm not a trained illustrator, I didn't know what to do, but then I had to choose, right? I had to choose, so I chose an illustrator and then it showed up in my account and basically I got accepted, I submitted my images, I got accepted and I started selling them right away. I received money for my illustrations just a few days after I first time ever called myself an illustrator. So this actually keeps me thinking 10 years later, remembering the story, I really remember that the moment that I believed in myself that I can be that really changed my whole life. Uh, and I know that I just received a few cents uh, and maybe a few dollars over the next months or weeks, but it's in my mind, I became a professional. I became something I wanted to try and to, to be, which was an artist and an illustrator. And then it just snowballed from there. And now 10 years later, I've been supporting myself with my business uh, for many years now. I traveled the world with my husband. Now we live in California. I have a daughter and we uh, were able to take a significantly long time off to take care of our daughter and um, I it basically it took me all kinds of different cool and creative directions and now eventually I became a textile designer and that's, based, that's just amazing what these things can happen after you call yourself what you want to become. So 
Now I want to get to the textile design side since many of people are watching who want to become a textile designers or surface pattern designers but this advice is also for other types of designers or even for photographers or other creative videographers. Uh, what I would recommend? Okay, let's do with the textile design. I would recommend you creating just a few patterns, just as whatever you can. I know that in the beginning it's hard and you're comparing yourself to all those designers who have experience, but I would just recommend take whatever you can do, put it, create it to the best of your ability, put your vision into it, get the colors you like, get the shapes you like, get the topic that you really like, that you enjoy and um, don't struggle with it too long just try and get it out and then put it on the fabric and this is <laughs> how you can do it you can go to the spoon flower website i will link it down below and you can uh, sign up and you can basically order your own fabric order a few try a few different types of things this is not expensive it's just a few dollars it's a one can be biggest investment in your life if you really are excited about becoming a textile designer and well you will just um, upload it it's pretty straightforward and you can uh, order it your pattern on the fabric it will come to your home you will open it up and just try and see how it feels try and feel it do you have excitement about it do you see yourself selling this fabric do you see yourself maybe not in particular the, your first very first ones but <laughs> over time you know see it as a journey and it will work out for you if you kind of try and realize yourself and envision yourself as what you want to become for example a textile designer the same way with your uh, patterns you, when you create art um, at least that's based on my experience I see it first in my head and then I basically match it on paper or on computer screen. I kind of match my vision to what I want to create. And <coughs> it's actually a pretty cool process, but you can do it with yourself. If you are struggling with this moment like, but I'm not taught, I'm not professionally trained, but I cannot do this, I don't know illustrator, I don't know this, I don't know that. I went through all of that a few times in my career and I'm still going sometimes through that. I'm like, I, I cannot do all these videos. See, and I'm like right here coughing and talking to you. <laughs> and it's just, you know, and sometimes you just have to get yourself up and say, now I'm going to do it now. I'm going to try it. This is what I'm doing with this video for myself as I'm growing on my creative journey. And I thought that I can help somebody like you to just go for it and try it out for yourself. So well, I'm hoping this will be helpful for you and uh, I'm going to talk about next stages of how to turn this vision for yourself into a real creative business over my next video. So please subscribe if you want to hear more about these uh, creative business topics that I'm sharing and my experience on the subject. And if you are one of the more experienced textile designers or creatives of other kinds, and you have your own story that basically made the shift for you from but I'm not this or that to I am an artist, I am a designer. Please share it with all of us in the comments below. We all want to hear other amazing stories of people who made the switch. And um, thank you so much for being here. Please let me know if this advice worked for you. Please share your experience below. And thank you so much for watching, grow, love and create. Bye!